Do you have any ideas for video games like that you've thought but haven't shared with me yet or that you think would be made good for mobile games or whatever? Uh, I can't think of any right now. You can't? Well, hang on. I found this awesome website, which you'll have, you will have to open in a, in a place besides Chrome so that you can mute the, mute the entire website, because I, I couldn't find a way to get the uh, audio muted on this darn thing. And it's loud. It's super, they have this loud approach. This is like a game generator idea or like a game jam theme thing, courtesy of Gunner Clovis. Uh, Gunner Clovis, you are amazing, and I wish you'd added a mute button to your thing. You did. But other than that, this is really cool. What are some of the things that are popping up? Is there anything interesting? Uh, let me think. Um, negative reinforcement. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that could go so wrong in a game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my word. Anything interesting popping out to you? You just uh, throw it on the uh, throw it on the uh, the uh, uh, throw it on the uh, thingy majig, the slideshow that I can't that I forgot the name of. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting one. Yeah. Uh, uh, villain exit stage left. It just it just makes me think of like a game where the entire the entire thing is a stage. Uh -huh. That's all you see on the screen. And you have the good guys, like the the good people and the bad people, and you're trying to hit the, the bad guys with tomatoes. Get them off the stage. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> to keep okay. your character on the stage as long as you can. It's a survival game when the villains keep coming out to try to... Actually, no, it could be like... Um, you know what they do with the hook? <laughs> when yeah. the hook's trying to get you... Out. Yeah, you have like hooks and other people trying to get you off the stage, but you don't want to be taken off the stage. Gosh, so okay, that's... To keep yourself on the stage at all times. Ooh, here's a uh, here's an interesting two concepts to throw together. One is uh, uh, one rule, and another one is uh, stop this train. <laughs> okay. And I could imagine all sorts of crazy shenanigans involving an out of control train, or dying is rewarded. How about this one? If you don't see it, it doesn't exist. Ooh. Like maybe you can have like a toggle thing, where the character closes his eyes and like you can get through something or something. Close your eyes for a few seconds. That's a great um, idea. No, no, that could be a good mechanic. So you could even have it so that you use your finger to see more of the stuff. And if if you walked over there before you used your finger to to see it, it yes. wouldn't affect you. But as soon as you actually look to see what's over there, now it does affect you. Oh, <laughs> there's one on here called fruit fruit ball. I'm trying to imagine sports, trying to play sports with like giant fruit or something. Only instead of it being solid the whole time, like in most games where it's like a giant banana and you're just throwing it around or whatever, it actually deteriorates and gets mushy and destroyed and stuff because it's being roughed up throughout the game. And eventually you're just you just it's just reduced to like splatter or whatever as you from from you constantly trying to kick it into the other person's goal. <laughs> just fruit. I don't know. I, I imagine that could be really funny. Here's another interesting one. Uh, walk in my shoes. This could be cool, actually. You know, in every single adventure game, there's always these NPC characters. They're mm -hmm. just they're just there for you to interact with and be like, hey, uh, and maybe progress in the game. They're basically to cardboard cutouts. <laughs> yeah. So what if we had a game that... Uh, <sighs> You have these cardboard cutouts, but when you interact with them, there's some sort of issue that they're facing, and you literally become that character for mm. an entire level to go to help them get through whatever's going on. Uh, rock stars riding sharks. <laughs> okay, how would that go? Oh, I don't know, but that image in my head sounds nothing short of a Okay, how about this one? This could be a funny one. Weird superpowers. So it's a puzzle game, and every single 
level, you have like a different weird superpower. Like mm -hmm. maybe you shoot hot dogs out of your eyes or something, <laughs> and you have to use that to accomplish the task. Yes. So each <laughs> each iteration, each level has a new idiotic thing you have to deal with. Yes. It's either like against you, or it actually helps you, <laughs> or you nice. like figure out how to make it help you. <laughs> That's an interesting thought. Well, here's one that's not really helpful, but it's just neat aesthetically. It's a uh, baked goods as characters. So like you you play as a muffin or a cupcake or a bread roll or you know a baguette. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It might be fun. We won't go the I am bread route, but more like you know I could see there being like a war between the pastry kingdom and the cookie kingdom or something like that, and like you send out your armies or something. It's like a strategy game, but they're all dessert themed. Oh my gosh, this one sounds just straight up evil. Oh no. Your game has a secret you'll never tell the players. I saw that one earlier. I'm like, who would do that? <laughs> Want you gone. I just, I picture this like you're just standing there and there's this person that keeps coming up to you and you have to keep finding different ways to get rid of them. <laughs> that might be funny. <laughs> the game just using like different objects and, and like <laughs> auto checks and stuff. You got to figure out ex how exactly to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And your character just gets more and more angry over time. Right, right. And you have to finally figure out how they leave, and it's a different thing each time. Like, and if you, and if you, and if you, if time runs out and your character gets too mad, their head literally blows up in like a cart, like, boosh, and it's just all. The only thing that's left is smoke. Okay. I, I was gonna say we probably have enough, but then I clicked one more time, and the first thing I see is something called Ninja Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Honest Abe. <laughs> Secret Kung Fu master. Okay, uh, but seriously though, I think we have enough. Why don't we open like a, a new slideshow or something? A new slide. Uh, and, yeah, new slide. Uh, and just take all the things we actually like. We're like, okay, you pick one from each of these lists, I pick one from each of the lists, then we go down and paste them onto the next slide. All right, okay. you paste yours and I'll paste mine. Okay, I picked the top one as well, the, the villain X is stage left, and right. I picked walk in my shoes. All right. I just really like that idea. I, but then again, I'm a little biased. I do love games that let you play as multiple characters. Okay. Well, to be fair, with the weird superpowers one, what if it's not one guy getting multiple powers? What if you get a new superhero with each level? And it's like a random, like, this is Turkey Fist Man. His fists are turkey. What do you, what do you think is a pro and con to each of these? Um. So for the walk in my shoes, one thing... I don't know like how that would work with a, a mobile game, having you walk yeah. around and everything. And that would also require a lot of assets depending on how many levels you want to do as another thing. Right. The weird superpower thing too, like that since that was probably like it seems like a puzzle game, mm -hmm. uh, you probably want quite a few levels after a while and that might be intensive just coming up with all these different yeah. puzzles. And, and that just, and, and the animation too for all the weird superpowers, like, uh, and if you do decide to go the route of having different Different, different characters every level. Mm -hmm. Anything like that would be a lot of work. So I feel like right. the easiest one here is the villain exit stage left, just because right. all you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have a stage, mm -hmm. uh, and you're gonna have your character doing whatever um, mm -hmm. on the stage, and then there's just people coming up to you and trying to get you. That's a that's very easy gameplay loop to program. What if the thing is you play as someone who is like a real like attention hog and you're staying on the stage long after you were supposed to leave. Oh, this would be beautiful. Okay, maybe it's just like a short play and like all the dialogue and stuff from the characters, there's no actual dialogue. It's just, you know, like gibberish. The characters are walking back and forth doing their dialogue and stuff. You have to dodge them and stay on the stage for as long as you can. Oh, if you get hit enough times, the audience starts booing and then the real challenge comes from all the tomatoes and stuff being lost because everything because the play looks so bad oh, oh my gosh so you have the people that are like you're you do your scene and you have the people in your play trying to get rid of you and then you could also have people from behind the scenes like through the curtains trying to grab you and, and have the guys yeah. coming out of the stage and stuff it just gets more and more chaotic the longer yes. that you stay on and you and want to be in... and then eventually the audience can start throwing things at you too yes like you're up there maybe by normal everyone's just doing the scene as normal and then the first mess up 
up where you run into someone. Then the actors are suddenly trying to actually target you. And then the second mess up, you have the producers and the behind the scenes stuff actively working against you. And then the third and final mess up, you have them, the behind the scenes people, and the audience all trying to get you. <laughs> and all you have to do is you have your phone like like this, and you're just going like this across the screen. Yep, left, and right, and they swipe up to jump. I could even see it that they're like some sort of ropes or something because people are being lowered or whatever. Yes. You can jump on the ropes to maybe get oh, them. Oh, you could have so you much fun use, with that. You could use the props, the props that are being put on stage Whoa. to go around them. So you got your attention meter and your wanted meter. Oh, and if the attention and meter gets up. too high, yeah, if the attention meter gets too high, then you've just lost. If you cap it up, then that's like you get bonus points and stuff. Like your score so, so multiplies. It, so it can always be the attention meter that they're after you. So uh, the attention meter, like you kind of want to be at the top, but at the same time, being at the top is risky because there one hit and you're dead. But if you're in the middle, you can get hit at least once, and you'll but you'll go up to the top. Yeah. And and if you go off stage, it's instant game over. Oh yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, you can't let them take you off the stage. Because <laughs> I imagine this is a game with a lot of fast runs. You can try again and again. You can watch an ad if you want to pick up where you left off and get one more chance. Yeah, yeah, I could see that working too. Right, and then like maybe a little store where you like upgrade to get a flashier costume. Actually, that might be the sole thing. That could just emphasize the self-centered nature of this character. The store is just his dressing room. It's just flashier and flashier costumes. <laughs> And they give you like upgrades. <laughs> yeah, it's like maybe there's one that's just so flashy. It's it just replaces your character with a big white glow that's running around the stage now, and that's the max one. It instantly cranks it up to a hundred from the start. And it's like a score multiplier for that brief period of time, and it gives you a bit of respite. So, so are you so you're thinking like points? We'll just yeah, with, like, just make it a score stuff. system, and then if you break a certain amount, you get a neat ending cutscene where you take your bow, and everyone actually and like the audience loves you. <laughs> Maybe all things considered, if you went straight to the end all the way, it's like a five minute game total. Okay. Or maybe a, si a six minute game. Each each act is like two minutes long. All right, and then you can even go for a survival mode. Yeah, and then survival mode is just infinite. And you can choose which act you